Welcome to the Solid Canyon University channel. This video's topic is negative x turning or minus x turning. Uh, basically just the idea that you can turn your part in a lathe or a milter from the negative x side uh, using uh, tools that would be mounted on a lower turret. Uh, in this case, let's say it's a dual turret mill turn or uh, you've got a type of lathe that has maybe everything loaded on the, on the bottom. However you need to do it, you can actually output your turning tool paths in the negative x direction. And it's pretty simple. We'll just go through it real quick. You can see here I have a face and a turning tool path here. And I'll just go through the simulation just real quick to show you that that's what they're going to do. So it's just going to face from the, the positive x direction. And then it's going to turn, again, with the tool mounted in the positive x direction and it's on the top side of the part. So that's what we normally do with our turning operations. If I suppress these, I'll show you a copy of the toolpath I made that now will actually output in the negative x direction. Okay, so you can see the wireframe pops up on the part there, and if we go again into the simulation, again, you can see the tool is now mounted in the negative x direction and it's turning on the negative X side of the part. So that's with a lower turret. Again, it could be a mill turn, it could be just a simple 2D lathe that has the, uh, the, the turret on the bottom of the machine or however your part and your machine are, are set up. But how did I do that? Very, very simple. These are actually copies of the original operation. All I did different was in the tool, I actually told it to output in negative X and I mounted the tool coming from negative X. But the geometry, the toolpath itself, how we do the programming is exactly the same. The geometry is on the top side. Might even be more apparent if I show you from the turning toolpath. So again, we're still using tool two, mounted in the negative x direction. You can even see that here. But the geometry is still on the top side. That's simply because when you do create your turning parts inside of SolidCam uh, or your mill turn parts, uh, whenever we do the section, it's always on the top positive side of X. It's really just to get the target profile, the stock profile. But in terms of programming, all we're doing here is just choosing that profile. And since everything is just going to be rotary anyway, this is still the same path the, part would, the tool would follow on the bottom side. We just need to tell it that the tool is mounted to negative X and we want to output a negative X. And that turns this into negative X turning. That goes for all the tool paths inside of solid cam turning. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCAM, you can always give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCAMSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.